welcome to lesson 13 of Learn Klingon the Easy-ish Way. Here are some food and drink words. Fork is puk tronak. Puk tronak. Imagine a helicopter pilot who pokes at the controls of his Chinook with a fork. Puk tronak. Knife is Taj. Taj. Imagine that the Taj Mahal is guarded by soldiers armed with very sharp knives. Taj. Spoon is Barnek. Barnek. Imagine the queen trying to scrape off some barnacles using only a spoon. Barnek. Plate is just like torpedo, target and soldier. There is one word for a plate and another word for several plates. So a plate is jengva. Jengva. Imagine hearing a jingling noise far away. Yes, it's Santa Claus, and he's brought you a plate for Christmas. Annoyed, you chase him away with a big stick. Jengva. Plates is gop. Gop. Imagine that you roll up your sleeves and cope with washing thousands of dirty plates all by yourself. Gop. A glass for drinking is khivje. Khivje. Imagine trying to heave an enormous chair into the corner so you can reach a glass on a high shelf. Even with the chair, you still need to use a stick. Khivje. One traditional Klingon delicacy is a dish of so-called serpent worms, which are often eaten while they're still alive. English speakers call this dish gach, but the pronunciation of the original Klingon word is a little different. So gach, a dish of serpent worms, is kar, kar. Imagine filling your car with thousands of wiggling serpent worms. Kar. Blood wine is ew, chik, ew, chik. This word combines two words you already know, ew, meaning blood, and chik, meaning wine. Ew, chik. What is the English for ew, chik? Blood wine for kar. Gach, a dish of serpent worms. For chivje. A glass for drinking. For gop. Plates for jengva. Plate for barnek. Spoon for Taj. Knife for Puk Tronak. Fork. How do you say in Klingon blood wine? Ew, chik. Gach, a dish of serpent worms. Kar, a glass for drinking. 
Khevja Plates Ngop Plate Jengva Spoon Barnek Knife Taj Fork Puk Chonak Here are some more useful adjective verbs. To be heavy is ur, ur. Imagine that the wrestler is told to become much heavier or else he will lose his next match. Ur. To be light is tish, tish. Imagine being as light as a tissue. Tish. To be full is boi. Boi. Imagine a ship full of cargo which is being steered by a small boy. The boy can't even see out of the windows, so he's standing on a pile of sticks. Boy. To be empty is chim, chim. Imagine a chimpanzee who's searching a kitchen for food. Alas, all the cupboards are empty. Chim. To be dry is khad, khad. Imagine that after stepping out of the bath, the queen tries to dry herself using a pack of playing cards. Khad. To be wet is yik, yik. Imagine that the queen has pushed you each into the swimming pool and now you're all soaking wet. Yik. To be sharp is jedge. Jedge. Imagine a judge who spends the whole trial sharpening her guillotine. Jedge. The Klingon word for to be blunt is jejcha, jejcha. What is the English for jejcha? To be blunt for jej. To be sharp for yik. To be wet for khad. To be dry for chim. To be empty for boi. To be full for tish. To be light for ur. To be heavy. How do you say in Klingon to be blunt? Jejcha, to be sharp. Jej, to be wet. Yik, to be dry. Khad, to be empty. Chim, to be full. Boi, to be light. Tish, to be heavy. Ur. 
how do you say the plate is heavy? Ur Jengva. The plates are empty. Chim Ngop. I pay for the blood wine. You Chik Vidil. You are willing to eat the gach. Kar da shopkang. I have a knife and a fork. Taj puk. Chonak Je Viraj The waiter changes the spoon Barnek Choch Jabwi The glass is full. Bui Khivje The floor is wet. Yik Rav It is sharp. Jej It is blunt. Jejcha I am a captain. Chod Jich. You are an officer. Yash Shoch. As you know, the Klingon words for I, you, they, and so on are normally missed out, but sometimes they must be included. When they are included, these words are mainly used for emphasis, but they are also used to avoid ambiguity, and in sentences such as, I am a human, and you are a Klingon. Here are the words for it and for they. Actually, there are two words for they. One for beings capable of language, and one for everything else. So, it is och. Och. Imagine wrapping it up in a parcel and sending it all the way to Oklahoma. Och. They, for beings capable of language, is chach. Chach. Imagine that they are drawing pictures of each other with charcoal. Chach. They, for everything else, is bich. Bich. Imagine discovering a planet full of exotic new species. Surprisingly, they all have beaks. Bich. What is the English for bich? They for everything else. For chach? They for beings capable of language. For och? It. How do you say in Klingon they for everything else? Bich. They, for beings capable of language. Chach. It. Och. 
in this exercise, emphasize the Klingon words it and the they by including them rather than leaving them out as you normally would. How do you say, the bathroom is empty? Chim Puchpa It is empty. Chim Och The knife is sharp. Jedge Taj It is blunt. Jedge Och The humans are light. Tish Human Pu They are light. Tish Chach The bartenders are heavy. Ur Chompu Are they heavy? Ur a Chach The toilets are clean. Shai Puchme They are clean. Shai Bich The spoons are dry now. Dach Khad Barnek May they will be dry tomorrow. What lesh khad bich? When you include words like I, you, and they, rather than leaving them out as you normally would, those Klingon words are emphasized. But how can you emphasize words like alien or Torpedo. In English, we normally raise our voice. You might say, I see the man, meaning that it's not the woman you can see. In Klingon, instead of raising your voice, you add the suffix e. Eh. So, I see the man is Lord Villers. I see the man, implying and not the woman, is Lord E. Eh Villers. The e eh suffix is used to emphasize something. In fact, a linguist might say that it's used to show what the topic of the sentence is. How do you say, you see the bar? Touch daler. Do you see the bar? Touch daler a. No, I see the bathroom. Robe puchpa e viler. You drink the blood wine. Ew chik datluk. Do you drink the blood wine? Ew chik datluk. Ah. No, I drink the Klingon ale. Robe Warner E Fitluk I try.
Jinnid. I am willing to try. Jinnit Kang. I need to try. Jinnit Nish. I have to stay here. Nadev Jirat Nish. I tell you. Khaja. I tell myself. Jija er. You know yourself. Bishov er. The bartender sees herself. Ler er chom. The soldier defends himself. Chub er mang. The Romulan kills himself. Hoch er Romulushengan. By the way, Hoch er Romulushengan, meaning the Romulan kills himself, can also be translated the Romulan commits suicide. Let's quickly practice the numbers between 11 and 99. How do you say 11, 12, 13? What mach what? What mach cha? What mach wedge? Forty, fifty, sixty. Losh mach, var mach, jav mach. Seventy one, eighty nine. Schoch mach wa, chor mach hot. There is a menu around here. Nadev, chet jolev, tu lu. There are ten menus around here. Nadev, what mach chidrolev me tu lu? Or Nadev, what mach chidrolev tu lu? There is no gach around here. Nadev, kar tu lu be? Is there any money around here? Nadev Hoch Tu Lu A For the rest of this lesson we'll be talking about how to say what things are. In other words, we'll be talking about how to translate am, are and is. There are three possible situations which the Klingon language handles slightly differently. Firstly, you want to say I am happy, you are young or the Klingon is strong. Words like happy, young and strong are adjectives in English, but in Klingon they are adjective verbs. I am happy is jekoch. You are young is bekoop. The Klingon is strong is hosh 
klingan. Secondly, you want to say, I am a human, you are a klingon, and so on. In klingon, I am a is translated by jich. So, I am a human is human jich. You are a klingon is klingan shoch. These first two situations are quite simple and you've had plenty of practice with them. How do you say, it is heavy? Ur or ur och. They are light. Tish or tish chach or tish bech. The fork is clean. Shai puk chonak. Is the plate dirty? Lam a cheng va. You are the boss. Pin shoch. I am the waiter. Chap wi jich. He is a Vulcan. Vulcangan rach. They are Klingons. Klingan pu chach. They are tribbles. Yich mei. Bich. The tribbles appear on the space station. Teng chach dak narr yich mei. The third situation is a little more tricky because you must rephrase the sentence using the emphasis suffix you learned a few moments ago. So, you want to say, the man is a human, or the phaser is a weapon. Sentences in the form, the something is a something, must be rephrased. In Klingon, if you want to say, the man is a human, you actually have to say, he is a human, the man. What's more, Klingon speakers consider that the man is now the topic of the sentence, so you must add eh to that word. So, he is a human is human rach. The man is a human, or literally, he is a human, the man, is human rach lord e. Likewise, if you want to say the phaser is a weapon, you actually have to say it is a weapon, the phaser. So, it is a weapon, is nuch, och. The phaser is a weapon, or more literally, it is a weapon, the phaser, is nuch, och, pu, e. How do you say, the man is a captain, or he is a captain, the man? Hold, rach, lord, eh? The woman is the boss, or she is the boss, the woman. Pin, rach, be, eh? The ship is a target, or it is a target. The ship. Dosh, och, duj, e. The enemies are Romulans, 
or they are Romulans, the enemies. Romulushan gan pu chach jar pu e. The tribbles are pets, or they are pets, the tribbles. Charge me, bich, yich me, eh? The triples disappeared yesterday. Wa hu gab yich me. So whenever you say what something is, you must ask yourself which of the three situations you have. If it's the third situation, if you are saying the something is a something, then you must rephrase the sentence and add the emphasis suffix. Let's practice all three situations together. How do you say I am dry? Jacquard. You are very wet. The plate is full. The glasses are very empty. She is a doctor. Hell, rach. They are patients. Shit pu chach. The man is a soldier. Mang rach lord e. The ship is a bird of prey. Tok duch, och duch e. And that's the end of lesson 13.